What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, uh, we got to talk about this one, man. Uh, I didn't even know this was a thing. Um, but apparently, there is a woman that has fallen in love with an oak tree. What did he say? <laughs> yes, I said it. An oak tree. Uh, she proclaims herself as an ecosexual. I didn't even know this was a thing, y'all. I'm not making this up. I saw this in the Discord, in, uh, in the In The Clutch Discord, and I had to look this up, and this is a real thing. She calls herself an ecosexual and has fallen in love with a fucking oak tree. Hmm. Just when you thought 2023 can't get any weirder, we find a way to make it just as weird, man. We find a way to, to ramp up the weirdness as the end uh, as the year ends. We gotta check out this article. This is just insanity. It uh it's on the New York Post. We gotta check this out, y'all. This is it has a video and everything. I, I I couldn't believe this was a real thing. The headline is I'm head over heels in love with an oak tree, but it isn't about sex. That's well, that's good to know. She's not out here fucking oak trees. Awesome. That's great. I'm still trying to figure out how you're in love with one, but okay. I'm willing to hear her out. Let's Let's give her a fair chance. Try to up this quality for you guys. All right, let's see what she's talking about, man. Turn up this volume. Moving in the year of a pandemic put just tremendous weight on my partner and me so much that we nearly destroyed each other. In this time, I developed several coping mechanisms and among the healthier of them was taking daily walks on this marsh swamp that is near my house. These were therapeutic walks. I would cry in the rain, I would talk to my friends, and I would come up with these massive epiphanies about my life and how I wanted it to be. One of the most significant was the realization that I had been craving that rush of erotic energy that comes when you meet a new partner and that it is not sustainable. It doesn't last. We are human. We cannot keep up with that energy forever. Yet I believed it was possible. I believed I could tap into that erotic life force somehow, somewhere. And around the time of this epiphany, I began to notice that about at the halfway point in my walk, I would pass a grove of oak trees and oh, one no. particular tree in that grove called to me. So I began to stop daily at this particular oak tree and I began to lean against it, began to hold it and feel held by it. And I noticed that I was experiencing erotic attraction. So she's doing her daily walks and she see a bunch of oak trees and she sees one that's calling out to her and she just she feels that love she feels that passion she has to go and hug it and the tree embraces her okay all right well there's more to it there's an article we're gonna read some of this not gonna go into all of it i just wanted to play the video for y'all so y'all can get a feel for who the woman is but uh Let's see what some of this article says. If you fall for a tree in the woods, does it make a sound? That's, huh, that's funny. A self-proclaimed ecosexual took nature loving to the extreme after becoming infatuated with an oak tree, which says fills her with erotic energy. There was an erotic, uh, there, there was an eroticism with something so big and so old holding my back. Why those choice of words? So I'm like, so there's tree piping you out. What's going on here? Uh, <laughs> Sonya 45 told SWNS of her forest fetish. She is a proclaimed, a self-proclaimed ecosexual defined by here come the ecosexuals as a person who finds nature romantic sensual and sexy and often imagines earth as their lover the self-intimacy guide and somatic sex educator in training first started pinning uh a pining that's funny what they did there pining for the plants after moving to vancouver island british columbia in the winter of 2020 uh semi yon nova that's how you pronounce her name sim sim Yanova. uh 
who uh, also specializes in erotic storytelling, says she lays uh, uh, she lays eyes on giant oak tree while on her daily nature stroll during lockdown. Uh, lockdown, I was walking a path near the tree five days a week with a uh, for the whole winter. The nature lover explained, "I noticed a connection with the tree. I would lie against it, and as you see, the picture just caressing." this oak tree the naturalist can uh connection continued to grow stronger like a piece of oak until summer 2021 when she started developing erotic feelings for the mighty hardwood okay bro who who fucking wrote this article mighty hardwood pining come on man what, what are we doing in this article that part of the problem here uh describing her uh sappy romantic yearnings Simi uh, Simi Yanova uh, says she loves the feeling of being tiny and supported by something so solid, <laughs> and feeling of not uh, the feeling of not being able to fall, branching out into love with other life forms. Seem uh, might seem weird, but the tree hugger says that being with people just doesn't compare. The presence I feel with the tree is what I'm looking for, but. That's a fantasy with a person. Sim, uh, Simi, uh, I, her name is kind of hard for me to pronounce. Simi Yonova, I'm going to call her Nova, uh, lamented, <laughs> I have been craving that rush of erotic energy that comes when you meet a new partner and it's not sustainable. Uh, Nova clarifies that she doesn't uh, physically engage in intercourse with the tree, but rather the tree, uh, erotic experiences all in her mind a big misconception is that ecosexuality means sex between people and nature it's a different way to explore the erotic the forest fetish explained to watch the changing of the seasons is to me an erotic act you go from depth in the winter and then everything comes alive in the spring and mates the salacious plant craving might seem like a perversion uh, however, the extreme leaf peeper claims that ecosexuality is already presented in a lot of people and that getting in touch with our roots uh, could solve a lot of climate issues. There's a reason we want to go for picnics in the park and hiking in nature, Nova declared. What we fail to notice is the reason we want to do this is to tap into the life force that comes from these things, which is erotic. She added, I believe that we could gain, uh, I believe that we could gain from having a more symbiotic relationship with nature. <laughs> so she's not out here, you know, getting piped by oak trees, but she is getting this erotic sensation from rubbing up on one and being by such a solid tree <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie to you i know there's people out there that love nature i know there's people out there that love to hike they love to be in nature they love to camp and and that's cool that's fine there are some legit tree huggers out there that love them some trees cool this is my first time ever hearing about ecosexuality i i didn't even know that was a thing i mean out here being in love with trees like i, I you know I'm, I'm glad trees are here and all that that's cool I, I love me some nature i'm just not about to be on here yeah i've noticed you from far away you know what i'm saying and man you're just so sturdy and you provide us with so much life like I'm I'm not about to be rubbing up on a tree, just rubbing on it and caressing it. You know, it's it's I, I'm not. That's a rough ass surface. I'm not doing that. I'm not gonna be hugging a tree. I, I'm I'm not gonna be snuggling up with a tree. Like I'm I'm, not, I'm just I'm when I see an oak tree, I just oh that's it's an oak tree. It's pretty cool. <laughs> and then I go on by my dad. I don't be like, damn, that oak tree look good. God damn, <laughs> I need a piece of that oak tree. I want to know how would she feel if she like walked one day and then she saw the tree being cut down. Like, how would she feel about that? Would that be like someone murdering her lover? Like, what what what's happening there? You know, like, or what if 
you know, after the tree had been cut down and she wasn't able to stop them from cutting down the tree, she unwillingly knows she bought a table that happens to be said tree. Would she be able to realize like, oh, this is the tree from the park? I can feel the energy. What's going on? You know, as it's been turned into a goddamn coffee table, would she know the difference? I don't know. I don't know. Questions that need answers so I can figure out what's going on. How would she react? <laughs> Look, I'm not here to judge anybody. If it brings her peace, she's not hurting nobody. It's all out of fun. This was my first time ever hearing ecosexual. I didn't even know that was a thing. This was actually pretty wild to me. So comment down below. Let me know. Have y'all ever encountered an ecosexual? Um, and also, do you find yourselves, you know, when you're walking around, wherever you are, wherever you live, do you find yourselves getting, you know, aroused by the foliage around you? Like, does that bush that you walk around the park with, you know what I'm saying? When you see that specific bush in your park, do you get aroused by it? It's a judge free zone. Let me know if there's some trees and bushes and plants out there that just get you going. I'm not here to judge. I'm just trying to figure out which one of y'all are part of the eco-sexual community. But I appreciate all love and support. Guys, shown on the channel. Road to 150K. I'm still getting 3D to the rest of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking here with me. See y'all in the next one.